things, apparently. Uh, I am your host, Chaos Axel. Joining me today is Mr. Tornado3212. How are you, Tornado? I'm doing all right, man. Just uh, living the dream of uh, technical difficulties because that is, I think we should just be the Bronze Tocno's technical squad because that's all we seem to run into. But <laughs> I suppose this one, it's its a little harder to pawn off on to, uh, to technology, unfortunately. Yeah, its uh, we had a little bit of issues with the roster, but uh, we're getting it sorted out. Right now we've got... We're waiting for one last person to load in, and then we will uh, get it going. Um, actually, in the meantime, I should probably ask what everybody wants their team to be. Uh, we haven't gotten team names, although at this point it looks like Team Winston and Team May, but I should probably get official confirmation. But anyway, okay. Oh, God, what is it? Um, Snowball. Team Peanut and Team Snowball? Okay. There we go. That'll work. They can yell at me and change it if they, to change it if they want. So, all right. It's Team Peanut. <laughs> team Peanut and Team Snowball. Uh, correct. Oh, snowball too long, that's disappointing. That's too long. If we get to that point. <laughs> yeah. I, of course, always hope that we, we pulled the all five games, but... Right, is it just snowball? Oh, we can't use the word ball? Are you serious, Blizzard? Oh my god, that took me a minute to figure out, and I'm a, I'm a little disappointed about that. Oh my god, that's actually really sad. Um, I don't... You know we're going to do Team Snowflake, that's what we're going to do. It's, we're, it's close enough because I want to put something in there. Um, let's see here. If it fits, otherwise it's just going to be Snowflake. They're going to be the Snowflakes. There it is. All right, cool. So we have Team Snowflake Blizzard. Oh, that's so sus, but okay. I'm uh, going to check on our last body here. Just waiting on him to join up. I'm all right. Central right now, it's it's th it's uh, Central is uh, 317, so... Yeah, I apologize for the delays for that. Um, like I like I had mentioned earlier, we're having a little bit of uh, personnel problems, unfortunately. So we're just looking to get those sorted here, uh, so we can get started. And I guess at this point, um, just for simplicity, I am going to invite Zella, just because I don't know how long Esteban's actually going to take, and I do want to get this going. Um, what we can do is we can just kind of boot Esta. We can boot Zella for Esteban once he's actually online so I'll try and invite him to spectators and then that way he can um, we can just swap him out once his game is done updating so uh, I'm gonna go just drop a message uh, in the discord see if everybody's ready at this point but I'm assuming that everybody's ready <laughs> All right, let's see here oh they oh god okay so team Okay, uh, team Snow team Snowflake wants to be referred to as Team May as Bay, which I'm gonna give Team Two minus fifty points, but I'll put it. Uh, oh Lord, what what has my life become? <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, Team Two, there you go. So Team One uh, being a little bit less silly with their name and accepting Team Peanut. So, all right, uh, and Zella has changed his icon, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's, that's the go point, and we're just going to get this started already. All right. So, uh, apologies for the delay, but we are finally going to get started here, going to uh, Dorado. Um, what are you expecting to see here, Tornado? Initiating... Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Are there any uh, particular comps that you would expect on Dorado? Um, any kind of setups you're, you're looking for? Ready for battle. comes a bastion and that's kind of what I was figuring we would see this this map is fantastic for bastion so it looks like they're they're gonna be willing to give up that first uh, the first kind of push around up to that corner and uh, then they're gonna rain hell that's a gold bastion gun I'm gonna get minus 20 points to team one for that one all right uh, on the other side um, Ryan Diva is the front line uh, Junkrat Hanzo is DPS and then Moira and Lucio for the healers so Pretty steadfast. They're just kind of letting it go to fruition right now. Um, but the oh, they had the diva run up there. Diva immediately gets demacked and gonna fall down. They could capitalize, but it looks like she's gonna get away. Um, ooh, Junkrat's just raining hell in the back there, and he's gonna get out pretty much for free. Hanzo went up to join him. Thankfully, doesn't get picked. Okay. Um, and that's just, oh, there we go. That's a lot of free progress, though. They all went to chase. Yeah, you're right. They all went to go chase, and now that's a lot of free progress that Team May is Bay is getting. That's, and now we're just going to need to trickling and staggering, so. Yeah, that's. Looks like they're they got rid of the Bastion in favor for a Hanzo now, so they're gonna be a little bit more mobile with their comp. Alright, so Team Maze Bay is getting progress. That Roadhog's alone, not getting pressured right now. Um Hamster's looking for a moment, but he got found out. Oh, gets the chug crat. Oh wow, I just oh, oh flanking's then discovered. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, you know what? A for effort. Oop, that's a hammer. It does get two or three. Wow. But no follow-up. That was a great hammer. Unfortunately, they couldn't really capitalize on it. Hanzo on Hanzo action. Here comes a bomb. Ooh, gets two. That was a good bomb. That's going to ensure a lot more progress. It's just the tanks alone from uh, Team Peanut right now, and they're getting forced back. And there we go. There's a pick, so... Now we're just gonna get staggers. Um, they need to get a couple more onto the the payload here. Make sure you get the maximum speed. Okay. All right, and it looks like they're oh, but they got off. Don't see nine boys. Come on, get on there. They're using the Zenial to get close. They do manage to touch. Zell is on it, but good hook. But yeah, that's they got forced back too much. Dragon's coming in. That's good. Dragon's on point. Not enough, though. Oh, Zella does take out uh, Eldritch's Winston, and then we trade some Hanzos. Gotta remember. Try not to use the nickname. Try to use real names, even though one could argue that Harambe is the real name of that particular hero. Good hook. Ha! All right. Higher as well. Uh, it does get the Zenyatta, but the Junkrat loses his life for it. And once again, Mayas Bay getting steady progress here. He's looking for it. There's a good ult. There it is. Two down. Right, that'll be a good stop now. That'll finally halt the progress of Team Mayas Bay. Uh, Winston trying to find a good moment to drop, but he was seen there. Maybe. I guess he wasn't. I don't, well, they're gonna, okay, there we go, now he drops. He was just waiting for his, his bubble, I guess. Taco Zella, get, still being aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, they are, they're really not spotting out that Winston, but here comes the Diva Bomb. 
gets three. Wow, great diva bomb by Deadly Silence. That's four down for, uh, well, trade one off. That, that is four down right now for um, Team Peanut. So this is going to be free progress up to the corner. Uh, Tornado, after this game, you have to adjust your settings to allow your audio to be shared. They can only hear me right now. But that'll be an after this problem. Um, looks like... Uh, okay, Team Peanut not content with letting this go right all the way right now. They did get another good hold. Um, Ultakami right now, unfortunately, is definitely in the favor of Team Maya's Bay. They have two versus the nine... Well, one now of uh, Team Peanut. We will, we'll see what they have here. Um, right up, here comes the Hanzo ults. No real setup for that, so they were able to avoid it. Oh, Taco. Poor fool. Oh, opening with the Diva Bomb again. Those have been good. Gets two again. Absolutely fantastic Diva Bomb there. Alright, that's that's three down right now. Team Maze Bay four down. Team Maze Bay needs to take advantage. Moira trying. Not going to be enough from Jay Bailey. I mean, this could be the world's biggest tire. Oh, that was the wrong direction. Ah. There we go. So it took a couple of really good stops there um, from Team Peanut, but uh, Team Maya's Bay were just, they every time they got stopped, they just kind of took a deep breath and kept pushing. All right, so we will see what we're going to get now when we're flipping over to... Uh, Team May is Bay on defense and Team Peanut on attack. Uh, I believe. Oh boy, this is. Uh, I apologize, everybody. You're gonna go dark for a second here while I uh, try and figure out settings here. Um, I think it's on. If you hit the share button and you go to broadcast settings, uh, Advanced settings, audio sharing settings, and then um, include microphone, audio, and broadcasts. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that little little pause there. But uh, back to the action. So, this is my on-air flips here. Okay. Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm always surprised when I don't see a mercy on defense for these really long ones. Uh, I feel like that's just a fantastic way to keep the push going if you can get a res. But that's, that's me. Um, not everybody else, I suppose. All right, so looking over now to... No. All right. <laughs> yeah, Deadly had a really good triple with that Diva Bomb, that's for sure. Uh, so right now, uh, interesting choice of tanks from um, from Team bleh, from team Peanut uh, with the Winston and the Diva. so not a traditional shield tank, and they aren't even going to the payload. Oh, sneaky! So Team Peanut is kind of going to try and come in. They figured that uh, Maze Bay would be down there. And right now, okay, they're aware now. So let's see the uh, the madness. All right, one goes down. It's It's been fruitful so far. They got the D.Va mech. Haven't killed the D.Va yet. D.Va does go down. And they, they do have one body on the payload, so they're pushing while this is happening. Yep. Really great move from Team Peanut. Yeah, Team Peanut was, uh, they, they were right in suspecting that Maya's Bay would have no idea that that was coming. Yeah, it's pretty much 6v6. All right, there's a D-Mac, though. That's a start. Zella lost the mech. All right, and two, ooh, two picks on top of that. All right, Diva got re mech but yeah, no, I think that's going to be uh, backup time. But Taco Zella is still trying. Still fighting. I guess you got the Lucio healing you and the Moira, so you can keep going. There's the D-Mac. That... Yeah, I don't agree with that ult, unfortunately. That was... If the team had been, like, right there, maybe, but that's... But on the other side, though, they did also... They burned Valkyrie on uh, on Team Maya's base, so one support ult for both teams is gone. Oop, and an immediate pick right there. Uh, Hanzo to Hanzo again. There goes a hammer. That got a good couple there. A lot of them got pushed away. It split the team up. But no one... 
Uh, they did get a DMAC out of that, but yeah, not a lot out of that Reinhammer. Um, nobody was really there to capitalize, surprisingly. Senior McFluff is 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 absolutely ripping apart uh, Jono's rails, Hanzo. Oh, oof, there's Speak of the Devil. <laughs> Alright, so... I would agree with you. Oh, and speak of the devil, um, there they go. <laughs> so, both teams with a lot of ult economy right now. Um, Team May as Bay had an idea this was happening, but we're going to get a tire going in now. Doesn't get anything, unfortunately. Doesn't get a kill, at least. Nope. The dragon's going in on him, too. Diva Bomb. The shield went down at just the wrong moment. Oh, that feels bad. Yep. Right, so overall right now, Team Maze Bay is holding. Rambe does manage to get the kill there, but he should probably not get staggered and should just try and run here. Okay, what he's trying to do, he's getting healed. So that was... Oof, that was most of the ults for both teams other than Valkyrie for Team Maze Bay and um, Diva Bomb from uh, Team Peanut. So... And immediate pick. Senior McFluff is on those picks with the Hanzo. So here comes the Junkrat tire. Get blown and gets blown up right away. Jono's uh, starting to pick up some kills here. Oh, good hammer. But gets no one. Bad hammer. <laughs> and there's going to be a res. He's not going to be able to kill him fast enough. The dragon's coming back, yeah. I'm, I'm inclined to say that this is probably it. What's still alive? Just some Lucio or something? The bomb. Harambe's still trying. Ah, oh, rip. Oh, they have a Reaper on it now, but... Oh, man. Reaper's using those mobile health packs, otherwise known as tanks, uh, to keep alive, but it's not quite enough, yeah. Team May is Bay. Oh, I feel like I'm docking Team 250 points every time I have to say that. Ugh. Yep. Deadly silences. Uh, Diva Bomb ends up getting play of the game. Not a big surprise. Excellent move. Where's the emote? Where's the emote? No! <laughs> well, either way, that was a, it was a great move. <laughs> Good effort from both teams there. Epic. Pure class. Alright. Let everybody take a quick peek at their stats because people have people have asked before to let us go all the way through just because they, they do want to see their stats and compare. So I will give them uh, a second here to take a peek at their stats before we head back to the lobby. Back to lobby. Alright, so did we ever get Esteban or nah? Okay, then, oh yeah, then I'm just, we'll just keep rolling as is. Uh, I'm going to put a five minutes timer on, and I'll set the next map here. So, um, what did you like uh, about from either team on Dorado there, Tornado? Check the Twitch, they'll tell you. <laughs> Okay. Um, you might have to check the party settings next then. Uh, let me see here. Um, if you go to the party, uh, there is an option if you go to party settings to allow your voice to be shared. So I would try that one next. I think I'm going to have to put a tutorial up <laughs> for this. Just like, this is yeah, what you yeah, need, yeah. just to guarantee it. Um, okay. no, no, let's see. Let's see if they're going to tell me now whether they can hear me. Oh, I'm sure the Twitch chat will tell you if they can hear you or not. They're very yeah, active just, uh... about correcting uh, streamers. So, <laughs> let's see here. So, our next map. 
Oh, it's a real ability for Li a love Li Oh, there's Esteban. Okay, so... Um, let me switch to Li Zhang. Are we gonna let Esteban flip, or do we just want to keep going with Taco? Uh, let me see if I can talk to the guy. Okay. Li Zhang, Li Zhang, Li Zhang. We're gonna do Lunar New Year version. Yeah, they can hear me now. Hey, hey everyone. Hey guys, you can hear him. Yay, we <laughs> fixed something. <laughs> I just, right. I literally had the best casting of my life and you guys didn't hear it but it's fine it's, it's true you know that could have won an award man it's a it's a shame that they, uh, they didn't catch it disappointing but it's all right because i'm still here and i'm gonna make a mistake on every single call from here and in so and by god the chat will tell you <laughs> yeah 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 i'm gonna go on there now so i can see what everyone's saying but yeah i think that first game i think the difference from the first few plays i think some composition changes would have really helped um, peanut, because they they got up the hill really well. But that archway is a nightmare to get through unless you're either going to coordinate your dive, um, uh, or set up a shield in there. And uh, I think the there was a point when they did go underneath again and came out the top. There was a point where they were five on three up, and the mercy res the Reinhardt, and they were back in trouble. And it's and there's little things like that. They just seem to drop back at that stage. They seem, almost didn't believe they were winning it. Have they just pushed in off that and taken that space? I think they would have had a chance at capping that first point. Yeah, but, I think that's a fair assessment. But uh, this is Overwatch. You know, it's a, little moments win games. It's never about you know you could you can play the whole comp right. You can set yourself in the right position for most of the match. But you know in that Mercy's resin, you don't just pick the head off. That can turn a match. You know it's Absolutely. little things like that that win games. So. Yeah, I mean, I I made that comment too when we were when we were watching um, that Mercy make the res. Like, you know, you're, you're just gonna like before we even started. That's why I like running Mercy on mm -hmm. maps like this because for that exact reason, where you lose a tank, yeah. but you're pushed up a little bit, boom, you just suddenly uneven the odds again. So yeah, but oh well. Um, from Team May is Bay. I mean, they <laughs> their Deadly Silence is Diva was on point for most of it, as well as Senior McFluff's Hanzo. Both of them, between uh, yeah. the Diva Bombs and uh, Senior McFluff, just getting the picks left and right. I mean, they were a well-oiled machine just mm. running all over them. Yeah. This is it. I think um, certainly Peanut should be going into this one knowing who they need to take out early on. You know, who, Knowing who the parties are. First um, match you might not know, but after this, you, you've seen, this for the most part, what you think the other team is going to run. So I, I agree with you there. But... And control's a completely different strategy. Mm -hmm. You know, you start every single team fight in the same position with control. You know, you're not stuffed in that little arch in Dorado anymore. You've got the full map to play with every single time you go in. So strategically, very different approach. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Taco run this map um, and have him do two, and then yeah. I'll switch him out for Esteban for the rest. Yeah, that seems fair. So, all right, and with that, our five-minute break is up, so we're going to hop into Li Zhang Tower. Yeah, but you like you were like you were saying, um, you you have to really approach the game very differently in a, in a control map. So, I don't think Bastion's usually going to be on the table here, and it's going to be. No. I don't really know. It, it can be tricky to run a sniper depending on which map we get. I mean, with this one, is the one I was thinking of. Like, it's a little yeah. trickier to run the Hanzo because you really don't have the maneuvering room you would on on a payload map. No, not at all. The um, I mean, the sight lines are decent over the square. So from a defending point of view, you may choose to set up shop there. But from an attacking point of view, the the line, sight, lines of sight are much much shorter. Um. I know players on both teams, and I, I'd say that actually they usually like going around the back here. So okay. it'll be interesting to see which which way they go. Um, certainly expecting more ability on here, like you say, than the last. So yeah, now I want Omnic Sushi. Is that thing cutting up a shark? <laughs> I feel bad for that shark and or dolphin. That's that's actually really sad. Okay. Do Omnics believe in serving up? Anyway, but the um... I mean, I'm, I'm looking at one of these posters here, and it's definitely an Omni cutting up what appears to be a small shark. Poor shark. So I mean, the comments are actually coming out pretty similar. We got Ryan, Lucio, and Moira, both teams. Mm -hmm. 
but we've got a May. Well, I mean, to be fair, that is Team May is Bay, so, you know, it'd be a little disappointing if they didn't run a May at some point. It would. But now we have uh, a McCree as well as one of the oh. other new picks. Oh, here we go. They're both both just going right at it. Okay. <laughs> it's just immediately it's a brawl right. here. First kill coming down. Uh, one healer is down, which that's a pretty important charge. Holy crap, that is an immediate hammer. Wow. Wow. That's, that is the grind play that I come to see. <laughs> oh, man, Eldritch is just ripping them apart here. That was fantastic grind play. <laughs> Again, the aggression. I mean, they went in like a mirror shot there. I was literally looking above the point. They went in like a mirror. And the funny thing was, you immediately saw Maze Bay take the initiative. And you saw them just visibly drop back on the uh, peanut. Because uh, the Lucio was actually getting jobs, was actually getting work done on the point. Because the rest of the team had followed. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Now they're hiding. Oh, they've caught Sacco Zelo on his own. That's that was a great move by the May. All right, they didn't quite pick him off. He's, no, he's I helping. Think he's gonna he? make and it. Zarya bubble saved. Yep. He's still there. Absolutely still there. Yep. Team Peanut. Great. Uh, great he protection there. Again. Great recovery. Oh, the Peanut. I've got to go with the Ryan. They've got to go with him. There we go. Oh, and I mean that's. Oh, he got two. Okay, that's a worthwhile charge. Tacozello, the Reinhardt play for both there. teams is immaculate this game. This is great. Ooh, good hammer again from Eldritch. Run, run, run. Melee him, just melee him. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> they boy. 6v5 there. Say Taxi needs to run. Nope. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah, it's okay. no you're you're absolutely right with Team Maze Bay. There that that is how I would want to play a Reinhardt. You get up in their face yeah. and you show them your hammer. You just show them the hammer and then they die or leave out of respect. This this May though, this J Jake's May is just kind of waiting to try and Oh yeah, no. I oh no. That's the again. same move the Zarya saw him. The Zarya was pitching bubbles at him. I right, oh, that's a good I'm launch into the in. room. It does get one. There's a oh, lot man. of cover in there, but it doesn't matter anyway. Yep. The okay, three up so now. Jono's trying to get something done here with the mobile health packs, does not quite get it done. Again, it's 97, that's it, there. right there. That actually yeah, ends it because back. they're way too far back. Just like that. <laughs> that was, I mean, we all could just, all of us, including them, got caught up with the action so quickly that I didn't even realize it was 96. Oh, that was fun. That's this is the kind of game I, don't I like. To see. Yeah, I don't have to deliberately try to stagger the uh, the fight there, but um, but yeah, there's only three team fights there really. Mm -hmm. But it's just yeah. calling that disengage. You, know, you can't group up unless everyone's back, and if there's three of you out there making the fight, you might as well just drop back. And or jump the, the other, cliff. there's enough of them. The other thought that comes to mind is fool me once, uh, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. Like literally, you could. The Zarya was throwing her alt fire at the at Jake Holt's May. They knew the May was there, and they still let Taco go forward. Like Taco still tried to press. But anyway, moving on. That's um, the taxi the switch from the McCree onto the Sombra. Yeah. And now send your big fluff. It's on. Oh my God, he's on top the wrong. Come Whoa. on. It's not. We we play with real comps here. All right, good start. May is hacked too, so that's a pretty good way for you to fight a May. I'm watching the oh. tour, but he's, he's peanuts, getting stuff uh, done. Team Peanuts getting it slowly. They're they're tearing them apart. They just they split up a little bit here. They Two left. Keep their, yeah, there three, four. The there we go. And then here comes the Lucio. Run, Lucio. No, run. You're gonna get hacked. No, this is it. <laughs> this is it. He was too late getting out as well. Both yep. teams doing it, but he didn't manage to escape. The... Great pick onto the Sombra from uh, say Taxi there, getting yeah. being able to hack the May or the Reinhardt or anybody really. That's a great switch. Right, so so we got May Quinn. Yeah, Ma they're all going white, all going around the back roof. You see the Sombra. Oh, hammer gets shielded. Yeah, oh, double, double, double charge. charge. Yep, and then the cancel charge. Oh, that's a big pick. They are, they are, they are, Reaper is trying to get something done, but I think he's going to go down. Ah, here we go. Well, quick 33%, so he got the first third down. That's that's nothing to, to sneeze at, especially with getting shut out the first round. So it's just time to regroup here for Team Peanut. 
it's true, but yeah, they're pushing out. Look at all this poke coming. They're already Jeez. pushing out. They're looking to go back again. Scout that. That does not quite yeah, make it. Yeah, not going to get hesitated too long. Now the diva's not there to support the rest of the team for the first push. She's back there now. They all, I think that's not going to get anybody. It's too them. far back. Jake's behind them on the May. And none oh, of them Lord. oh none I didn't realize, realize that. Oh my god, I thought that was the other side. Oh man. <laughs> I forgot who Team Bay's Bay is. Holy crap. Great move from Jake to freeze everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is silly. I have never played with Jake when he's been this sneaky. This is ridiculous <laughs> from him. The May oh. positioning on this map has been insane. That was great. Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm glad they're representing. You know, if you're going to name yourself after a particular uh, hero, yeah. you gotta. I mean, and to be fair, we did see Harambe last game, so Team Peanut also trying to represent. <laughs> Alright, Sombra trying to set up a, uh, a big hack here, and she's just kind of hopping around. She's on point. But she can't get anything done because of the wall. She's in the middle of them right now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's the hack. Do a good. That was a great Reaper ult follow up. Nice, good combo. Yep, absolutely. Oh, Reaper does get picked, but they got a lot of bodies down right now. Um, Team Maze Bay has a lot of bodies down. They need to push. Aggression, get in there. Okay, they do pick another one. Okay, it's just the healers left now. One of them is Lucio, so they could probably are gonna need to hack him. But Diva flies in, so now it's three. Yeah, they're back now. So, oh, okay, that's a good combo too. But, alright, ult's, can ult's cancelling ults now. Hold up. Ryan charge for Ryan. Here comes another May ult. It's gonna get the Lucio. Not quite gonna get the Reinhardt. Oh, uh, that, you know what? Tolperone's ult on this point is great. Look at that! Yeah. That's a Look great ult, and that wall, that. I think, is gonna stop it. That's, wow, good moves from Team May's Bay. Wow. Alright, minus another 50 points for making me say that. <laughs> Having it that big on screen. But again, the level the level of aggression there, it, it, right there near the end, they didn't count the points. <laughs> of course. It was this move right at the end here. You know what? Thinking about yeah, it, it though, it works really well. Like, in that small yeah. little space, if you can spread it exactly like he did, that is a fantastic move. And then that also, if you're going to gonna back out of there, you're going you're gonna to back off to the walls. Nobody yeah. backs off to center. Ah, that's genius. But the um, level of aggression, again, you know, they're all the members, following the Sombra Reaper combo, mm -hmm. all six members of Peanut could have pushed in on the point. They only had a Torbjorn, a Moira and a Lucio to take down. And they yep. just didn't take that space. They could have capped it, and that would at least put some pressure on them coming back in. But they saw that it hadn't capped, rushed back in, and that's how it ended. They can learn from this, for sure. Like, you got King's Row. Awesome, you're saving me the trouble of checking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, start the timer so teams have a little bit of a chance to, to talk it out. Um, yeah. Let's see here. We're going to thank Taco for his services. Yep. So, so yeah, we're going to be switching Taco Zella for Esteban. Uh, Esteban was kind of our latecomer, and Taco took up the mantle. Um, Kings Row, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and flip Taco out to spec. And we're going to go ahead and flip Esteban into blue. Oh, not spec, damn it. Uh, slap to blue team. There we go. Okay. So now we're we're where we need to be here. We got a couple minutes. Um. So, uh, Tor Torbjorn in May. Um, picks you don't very often hear that aren't followed by an angry <laughs> curse of some variety. So I um I appreciate that they were using these kind of oddball picks and use them to really good effect. I I gotta be yeah. honest. I normally assume that Tolborone's gonna be trolling when they pick him, but um what else did you did you like from either team, Tornado? I think the combo play with from Peanut was strong. Mm -hmm. You know, this is taxi like setting up a uh, EMP anything with anything else. It doesn't take a huge amount of communication, but it it takes that thought to go, I've got this, you've got that, let's go and drop it. And they did draw them into the room off the back very well. Because actually, if they popped that on the bridge, if they popped it on point, it wouldn't have had as much value because you got the cover. So they did well to draw them into there as well. Um, kind of, it was like sumo wrestling. They played their aggression against them. Um, but at the same time, you then got to follow up. 
you know, and if I was either of those two, if I was the taxi or John on the last play, I'd be screaming at the others to push in. Because <laughs> um, if I've just got a, what, a triple kill, it was at the time. Something um, like that, yeah, I'd very close to it. Holding them in there. But now Esteban has dropped out of uh, the grouping, so we're going to see what's happening there. Oh, Lord. I'm pulling back in. Okay. Um, <laughs> but the level. The level of aggression is what's impressive from, from Maze Bay. And uh, the Torb is a good pick if you play him aggressively, but you see so many Torb players who sit back, let the Torb do a lot of the work. And that was pretty much why they, they reworked him, because a lot of players could do that. His Torb was a lot stronger. And with the new form of him, you have got to play aggressively, and it feels counterintuitive to be three foot high and yet playing aggressive. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I it's... mean, you're, you're absolutely correct, as, as funny as it sounds. <laughs> Uh, so, and I, I and think like, yeah. I do appreciate uh, Torb's rework for that exact same reason, where it it does really mm. make Torb need to to try to play it a little bit more aggressively. I still I have a love hate relationship with Torb's now uh, whatever it is L two to to use his old ultimate for a few seconds um, sans the turret, but it's still. Yeah. That still feels really powerful, especially given that now you're you're trying to tell Torb, hey, get in their face. Oh, and we're going to give you an attack speed steroid for your shotgun for a few yeah. seconds. I mean, I liken it to the Hanzo Storm Arrow. That's also like, fair. As soon as, they yeah. hit, as soon as they hit the button, both players light up like a Christmas tree, more literally in Torb's case of the uh, Santa skin. Mm. But both of them light up straight away, and you know if, if you're up against them, you've got to take them out quickly or get the hell out of there, because for those few seconds, they can wreck you. Um, and uh, yeah, this is it, you know. And they they give it to Hanzo, and uh, nobody's really complained about Storm Arrow that much. Whereas, uh, yeah, I mean, it's so. mostly because it feels. I, I would say the reason that you don't hear as many complaints is because with um the scatter arrow that was a molten pile of bs for the most part and yeah, it never massive. felt good to suddenly be mercy just kind of minding my own business and then a, a, a scatter arrow that was launched across the map has just ricocheted in the right place to hit me in the head so at the very least you need to point your your arrows a little bit more carefully than you once did so i appreciate that yeah as an arisa main i used to have nightmares of hansers <laughs> looking at the floor Right. Oh my God, he's looked down. I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. So, uh, yeah. So they, maybe that's the difference. Maybe you're right. They, they took an ability which was broke, and turned it into something less broke. Mm -hmm. Um. Or no, nah, that's not fair. I think, I think it does add genuine value. Whereas with Torb, they took the strongest part of his game. Yeah. You know, let's be honest. Uh, his molten core before rework was the reason you played Torb if you played him. Yep. Um. You know, and took that. And made it into a short, a shorter version. I, I can see why people are upset. But. Yeah. So, and before we get into this game, um, I saw somebody posted in the Twitch chat. Uh, anybody who is watching that's interested in getting in on some of this uh, fantastic Ryan Hanzo Torbjorn and May action, uh, feel free to uh, reach out and join the Bronze Tacos uh, Overwatch Lounge. Uh, we do stream weekly uh, with different scrims and stuff like that. This one is the EU-friendly one, one of the first we've done, so, at least in the new year. So if you are interested, there is a link in the Twitch chat as well as on our Twitch page as well, uh, and feel free to reach out. But with that, yeah. we're going to go ahead and hop into Game 3. So right now, Team right. Maze Bay has a two-game lead, so hopefully Esteban now is uh, the leverage that Team Peanut, Peanut needs to, to bring it back here and start coming mm. back. They seem to be fascinating. Uh, I think, again, the first three maps have been a good choice tonight because they do ask for different things from the three teams. Um, so, it is an absolutely gorgeous map as well. It's de I don't know. I always have arguments over it with myself of what my favorite map of the game is, but this is uh, it's, it's right up there. Um, and that's not just because I'm from the UK. I was going to say, I sense some bias. <laughs> no, nah, I mean... I'd love it if you actually walked around London and it looked like this, but that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, it's I mean, I could do with all like of this. the without all the uh, the smokestacks. That's a little off-putting. But other than that, <laughs> uh, if I look away from that, the rest of it looks fantastic. <laughs> but I assume if I had it over the the uh, Atlantic, that um, you know Route 66 is like you know coast to coast. So, but the um, the, what we're playing now, so. Right, we're going to so have Peanut right on the defense first again. Yep. We've got the Bastion, we've got the Rhine. Yeah, but 
Uh, okay, so we'll see. Diva right here. Yeah. Okay, so now we have uh, say taxi on the diva. So they kind of switched it up a little bit because she's been on DPS, um, or they've been on yeah. DPS. And uh, Sombra is the other the other attack. Steam Bullocks is running Sombra now. Interesting choice on defense, hmm. but we'll see how that works. Uh, the, the healer combo, Moira Zen. I'm Whoa, okay, that is a right coming up. right down. <laughs> they must have used the symmetry. You can tune them up. up. You there. can go Jeez. for that. I'm gonna have to remember okay, that. Okay, we. The junk's high ground behind. He's right behind him now. Nope. Junkrat's trying to get Serena's some work done there. He's in the middle light of him. in there. Ooh, Ryan. Okay, Ryan moved away and it got the bombs got eaten. Okay, there we go. The uh, the combo here with uh, oh, Bastion setting old. up the kills for the uh, for the Zenyatta is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> good hold. Okay. I was still yeah, baby. really good I... Okay, so we got now Team May. May is Bay just kind of holding up here at the troll point. Uh, Bastion on the low ground. I mean, it's working pretty well. Oh, here comes a charge. Does oh yeah, well, gets the Bastion? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we got a couple charges back and forth. Teams are trading. Uh, May is Bay has a slight advantage right now. All good to go. He was chasing now. the wrong target. Ah, that. Run, Sam, run. Summer's just trying yeah, to get away it. now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I yeah, want to get this one away here. Flexing a lot. Yeah, it'd be interesting where they set up now. I always think this is a really tough decision on point B. Maybe it's because I play tanks more, but I'm usually pretty insistent on being on the ground next to it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd go bookshop right here, which is where they're going to go. Um, it's so easily flanked, and if you look at the comp they're playing, they've got the junk rat, they've got the McCree. And that junk rat too has not flanked. been uh, cautious about jumping in and behind them. So not at all. Lucio got hacked. Uh, no, no zooming around for a minute there. He's gonna get healed. Yeah, so the jungle has coming left. He's gonna get right in there again. Oh, that, oh completely exposed. Yeah, the Bastion's down, and that's it. Ult just going left and right for both sides. Oh, oh what a combo! That was fantastic! Oh, there we go, that's the rest. It's a trickle now. That was a freaking great combo there. That's how you do it. Well done by Team Peanut. Wow, so this is Taxi and Esteban had that one. I'd love to know whether they planned that. I'd love to know because the diva one went up so early, and uh, yeah, May just kept advancing underneath it. Oh, I'd love it if that was planned. That's well, amazing. Something we'll have to ask about in the Discord later. But yeah, great moves Absolutely. by Team Peanut there. All right, so Bastion set up here in the middle of the tanks, trying to get some work done, get stunned. He's gonna get out. Oh, here comes the diva bomb. It Pops the it shield. Off, but yep, that's turned, essentially and the mine's gonna, gonna go. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you need to burn that somber old or just switch right now because you're not. I'm not seeing a lot getting done by uh, that somber right now. Uh, I don't know. I'm presuming they're looking... waiting for a combo. But yeah, they've only got but... the diva one they can combo with. She's 50% away. Right I now, totally the only agree. thing you can combo I... with is the the Zenyatta, but you would need to get in there like right now. They're rounding the bend and there's no one else nearby. The Bolus is there. Yeah, they've on. chosen to let them give. The box is still behind them, still waiting to set something up. But she's not got a lot to work with. I mean, possibly the Bastion ult? Possibly? That would, that is the only thing they really have to combo with it at this point. I mean, the Diva Bomb would be the best choice, but that's still, well, they're getting, never not. mind, they've got it. And it's online now. They've got it now. I would make, a, I would make an argument. Oop. Five ults are up now for Peanut. Okay. Bastion is ulting, does kill the Ryan, but they're giving up progress for this. You can see the Sombra trying to find a moment to hop in there, trying not to expose yeah. their position. Here comes a junk grab bomb. Hesitating, going hesitating. On and there's two. You see, and that's it. You see, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. Yep. They're going to have to start popping Single them. Hack there, but... Just yeah. a stall now. Yeah, the Diva bomb. Good couple picks by the, uh, by the Sombra, but I would just argue to make a switch for. A Reaper or something like that right now. Good counter charges. Let's see what she comes back out with. Looks like this is going in. Alright. Both support ults coming in from Team Peanut. Keep everybody alive here. Kind of still melting through that Rhine a little bit. Alright, and Someone's now we're going to trade Still has the MP. Here comes a bomb. It does... Oh, well, oh, a little late on that. Just too they late. They could still potentially capitalize. Okay, good hammer. Sure, 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 sure. 
Okay, good. Get doing well. Steel. Taxi needs to get back and support a Ryan. That's fine. Ryan got the job done. Great work. Let's do on the one to one. So. Bolix is still kind of okay. doing his thing on the Sombra. Doesn't look like they're going to switch. I think it's causing many more problems actually by not having the Bastion to focus down. Yeah. Uh, they don't seem to be pushing down the same target anymore. Yeah, oh, here comes a Diva Bomb going up. From Flynn. Does get the Zenyatta, so that's a support down. And, okay, a couple follow ups, straight kills back down. and forth. But that's still three down now. Oh, that is a completely one sided uh, retail. Yeah, they are yeah. up 5 3 now. High noon in, gets the Diva. Attack wasn't fast enough. It's a bomb, but that Sombra's running away from the point. Sombra, where are you going, bro? Running from the uh, Rip Tire, I think. Uh, I suppose. There we go, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I know. Personal bias, but, yeah, I guess. It, um, <laughs> this is it. I was I was saw a channel on Facebook the other day arguing whether a widow should try and hold point on her own. <laughs> either way, pointless discussion. Yeah, I don't know. She may as well leap in there either way. Yeah, kill a couple more seconds. I mean, that's that's where my thoughts are on it. Is that absolutely. But I, I at the same time I don't know where Sombra's translocator was, and I I guess. They they didn't want to get spot. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, um, they still they got them down to two and a half minutes. So you know, it's they didn't gain time. They they this made them it. lose a bit. So and like you said, this is this is kind of do or die for uh, Team Peanut here. If we want, if they want to keep this series going, if they want to keep going mm. in more games. Ready for battle. So, I'd be interested to see the level of aggression. Oh step my up God, here. May is Bay, please, please no, not this, <laughs> not like this. I I don't <laughs> mind this. I, I seriously. I I, I don't I want it to thing. happen, but at the same time, I want to see something happen. Oh my God! You see, I, this is what happens when you bring in toxic heroes into the the bronze tacos league because now everybody's gonna try and do it. Oh my God! <laughs> it looks like Jake is trying I, to instruct the yeah. team where they're gonna go by those those shots there. Yeah. I'm thinking that they're gonna. Oh, they're gonna. Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, they're gonna drop them behind. They're gonna build yeah. the turret and. Oh <laughs> no! You've got to be kidding me. But what they've got is to push this? Left flank. They've got to see this and push left flank. Oh this my is god, insane. the diva sees it and is like, what? <laughs> uh, oh, oh gets he's the charge! Down. No, I mean, he's charge. probably going to die, but that was hilarious. He's not I mean, dead if, yet. Your team, if your team may is bay, you can afford to do silliness like this. You, you, you have <laughs> the nothing to lose behind here. The, oh my god. They missed, yep. they missed oh. the platform for the turret, but the turret's still alive. Alright, there, nice there goes down. the turret now, but... Oh man, you know what, I'm, I'm going to tuck that one in the playbook uh, for, for meme strategies <laughs> later on. That was silly. That was, you know what, thank you for making me chuckle, uh, Team Maze Bay. I'm going to give you five points back. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, back on to yeah. more serious things, so... We've got a true six on six happening in the choke. You need to decide when to push though, because they're just sitting there. Barrier down. Dragon, Tamper. Alright, ults are just getting launched left and right here. Yeah. This is looking like a good hold uh, from Team Maya's Bay here. Yeah, they're starting to get value from the ults. Yeah, down three now. What are they doing over there? Oh, they're just getting back. I'm like, I see two people just yeah. way back by the spawn. <laughs> Good lord. Still got turrets to deal with. It's just not the Ryan. So turret down again. I mean, Esteban just needs to walk forward through this now. There's, there's not his a lot in his way. He, he had a moment there, but. Now. Yeah. yeah. There we go. They're gonna give him and that's gonna make it really that. difficult. Alright, Sombra doesn't even have ult yet, but they're just in the background. That turret is, is holding Sombra off. Who's because... Captain? Her team can't get yeah, in there. Someone. A little bit no. of progress, but not with a turret back there. Oh, here comes the molten core. Yup. Okay. Oh, here you comes the launch. Oh, it's turret. broken the line shield. Yeah. Then, There's nobody there for that one. I mean, the explosions again, are pretty, guys, but they ain't doing much. No. The two behind in left flank. John trying to get around I know I'm giving you minus 10 no, points yeah, for your comments about right. wanting a Bastion. Right, I hear Reaper now, so... I think, I think Reaper is a really good pick for what is going on here. Oh, there's a turret set up yeah. up there now. Yeah, some needs to get out. 
at them. This is just pestering. This is just general annoying. Here comes all the ults again. Both teams back. going back and forth. Hammer does get one, but they get away. No, that sounds on his own, though. There's nobody there with him. Yep. This is starting to feel pretty dire here. We're coming down to the last yeah. minute. Um, they have the Sombra ultimate, but now that both the teams have used their ults, there's nothing to combo with it. No, the, oh, no, the Reaper you... might get back. But... Stop that. Stop that. Get down from there. <laughs> Stop that. They Trade don't know there, either, do they? Oh, and... my God. No, not like, oh. not like this. Not like this. Oh, that was a great one. I'm so mad at how fantastic that was. Okay. So I'm going to come oh, back. Okay. I mean, Esteban's going on point here. Yeah, they got a shot here. They do. They do. Only this Esteban needs to drop the shield and start swinging, man. Get in there. Use that hammer. Come on. Mario's on her own. We could chase it down. Diva's all they need to do. Nope. With. Dead. Oh, oh, the bomb's no. there. They got nothing. Yeah, does, ah, does one, more right. Here comes the rest of the team. Yep. The spawn advantage should be with Peanut here, but there's nobody home. Yep. No, oh, you're, there's they three of them hanging back to the turrets. Oh. They were trying to find the turrets on their hearts. Yeah, that's all she wrote here. That should be it. And that will do it. There we go. Well, well that was that... exciting. <laughs> it was. I think the highlight reel is going to look good. Uh, of course, yeah. That was uh, memeing <laughs> at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe that I could meme any stronger if I tried. And as I'm much as I hate goofy little forward. strategies like this, that 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 is like my dream is is crap like that Reinhardt coming down from the friggin' sky with a hammer <laughs> like that is a Reinhardt sweat dream right there. Oh my the, god! Um, this is easy and this is Overwatch. Like you can actually just pester a team. Like at no point did they actually wipe them at any stage. They just picked away at them. Just pick, 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 pick. And it was enough to stop them moving forward. Which and again, you don't know what they planned. You don't know what they knew in advance. Well, they didn't know anything in advance, but they looked at it. They said, "Well, they're not pushing forward." Hopefully something the team went, well, let's just pick at them. Let's just annoy them then. Because if they do lose confidence or we're pushing, then... And that's what happened. They just didn't get through the choke. Yeah, well, and that will clean it up. So Team Maze Bay with the clean 3-0 sweep. Uh, very impressive plays from both sides. Um, team Peanut, yeah, it's just... you're. I think you're completely right. Where There were just moments where they had their finger on the trigger, but they just... They just couldn't pull that trigger in the right moment there, and and I feel like because of that, they they weren't able to get it done. Uh, disappointing, but on the other side, Team May is Bay. I I can't, as much as it pains me to say that, I can't really give them enough credit for the stuff that they pulled off. Like, yes, yeah. the stuff they pulled off on King's Row was was memey as hell, but god dang did it work. I I can't really fault yeah. them for the for what they got done with it. This is it. If they turn around and go, no, that's what I always play, you, you're going to have to give them credit. <laughs> but the, um, <laughs> you never know. I know that Jake literally has a, a hero list kind of 9, 10 long, and um, I've definitely seen him play Sim and May. And so, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was good. And it's, we should say as well, it's so easy for us to look down on a fight. Oh, yeah. And see that's happening. You know, it's so easy for us to look down on it and go, well, you know, they're down by three. Commenters you know, bias, yeah. Reading this is it reading that in a game is is so difficult and it's uh but like little things make differences and that's just one of those little things yeah so. i can't say i've ever taken advantage of that spot and it's only really going to work once or twice but <laughs> you know what it's watching yeah. it in action it was oh man that was silly uh i i do agree <laughs> there's there's moments that i really wish I, I could be in on some of those comms there for some of the calls because man that was yeah. some silly stuff <laughs> I'd more want to hear the other team going, <laughs> where did he come from? That Ryan from Earth Shot. Literally from dropping like... from the sky. Like I said, that's a Reinhardt <laughs> wet dream. Like, no, I, I will be the first one to admit that I wish I could pull crap like that, but normally I would, yeah. I'm just up in people's faces with the hammer, but if I could drop from the sky with the hammer, mine, that's, that's, oh, that'd be great. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Sim's pick rate is still pretty low, but obviously we've seen a lot of her in the league. We've seen, you know, plenty of her tonight as well I I mean is the question actually that a sim on her own can't do much but actually a sim with the rest of the team mm -hmm. 
it's... I'm curious as to whether we'll see him in the league this year, in the Overwatch mm -hmm. League. I mean, I it's one of those things where I feel like Symmetra, she has some uses on points that have really, like, dense choke points, like Dorado and stuff like that, or even there in King's Row, mm -hmm. like, that, that doorway, but... Other than for that and for setting up meme strategies like we just saw, I don't normally... I feel like I would rather have almost any other DPS for the most part. Like, I, I don't know. I'm a little biased against her despite the fact that I've seen that she can't pull off silly things. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it's the strength of the teleporter. I think it's one of those abilities which we haven't seen the full use of yet. And it'd be, I do think it'd be interesting to see if any of the owl teams, especially the ones lower down the roster, you know, the ones who were going up against Spitfire and are thinking, well, you know what, this is probably going to be a steamroll. So people um, are asking we if they want to keep it a go. If we want to just keep going and no one's left. So, I mean, if we're just doing yeah, it not? for fun, I mean, I don't really care. We can keep going. Love to. Let's see here. Um, so, so it's Vol Vol Sky next. It would be Volskaya next. Um, yeah, I mean, if people want to keep going, I have... Let me reset the names. I, I already changed it to good games here. Uh, so let me reset the names. I'll change it to Volskaya. Yeah, 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 I guess we'll just keep going. If, if they want to keep going, I have no problem continuing. This is uh, this is this definitely is a lot of fun. It'll be interesting to see, um, like, you know, Peanut, fair enough. They're taking the three, the zero to three, and they still want another one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really just bridge Some matches. Call it can, they, but... can they get a... It'll be, uh, yeah, knowing some of the players here, it'll be interesting what they pull out on Volskaya. Yeah, and since it doesn't really matter, per se, not that any of this, you know, matters, quote-unquote, no, no. but it'll be interesting yeah, to see sure. what they can do when they're a little bit more relaxed, maybe, you know, having a little bit less to play for. Yeah, yeah. This is it. I mean, it's it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting what we can get going in the EU and UK area on the Bronze Taco Lounge, because um, I think the numbers are up around 40, 45 people now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I mean, especially when we named the extra spot today, we still had a lot of people wanting to jump in. So, you know, we have got a little so group of interested here. Ready to continue. I, I just want to confirm with somebody over on Team Peanut that they want to continue. Okay, let me try and help you out with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We'll look back over the uh, the chat as well. Actually, not that I enjoy your chat, but give it a, a second here. I'm gonna grab another drink because I'm thirsty. <laughs> Stuff kills my throat. Shout out to Birch if she's uh, still around. Thanks for the <laughs> compliments. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, it'd be interesting actually, especially with Esteban playing another map here, because mm -hmm. um, the um, so taxi Again, has Taco. confirmed the team Peanut is ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and continue. Sweet. Because Taco just was playing uh, very aggressively, and if, I genuinely believe if Peanut had followed him in, they'd have had a lot more success. Um, but Esteban kind of seems to have worked that out, and he's, he's playing a little bit more around there, which um, you can argue either way, really. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd have rather pushed in, but... Yeah, I mean, the, we're forgetting, of course, the, the D.Va... Um, mm -hmm. The Diva and Earthshatter combo. In fact, I feel sad that Torb got play of the game for that when uh, <laughs> when that was the alternative. But hey, what are you gonna you do? Go. So uh, here we are going into it. Taco Overtime, as I'm calling it. Uh, the team, both teams, have agreed <laughs> that they want to continue playing. So, and I've got nowhere to be. So why not? Let's let's keep going for for funsies. So hopefully we'll see some different strategies now that there's a little less on the line, quote unquote. Yeah, we're not we're not saying the nightlife is bad in the UK, but yeah, we're all happy to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got Peanut rolling out. Taxi still making their mind up, but we have got the Bastion coming out um, with Lucio, Moira, Diva, Ryan. Taxi eventually going for the junk rat now. Um, whereas we got Maze Bay rolling out with the May. From of Deadly course. Silence, which, and again, I knew he played a bit first, so that'd be interesting too. Torb still from uh, Torb on attack is here. This? I'm, okay. This is part of the, this is part of the, the banner that's hanging oh, up in there. How did it Hammond. get outside? What? Hammond Diva. I mean, again, this is for, for lulls, so, you know, we're going to get everything and anything, but here we go. So, oh, in the taco overtime here on Volskaya. Oh, camera 
hamsters going around. Even at the top, I haven't seen the box oh, behind look at them. That. That's a, that's a Jake's way getting, to roll in. Jake's in trouble. Already a D mech. Hamsters rolling around. The scene's on, on point. point. Yeah, he, on point. he took Good a really works. interesting angle to get there. So he's in the middle now of the team. Well he's split out now. He he's still alive. He's still fighting that hamster. Oh, like, come on. They're coming back together. Yeah, they're up three. Oh, Team Bay is Bay. Even though this is overtime, it doesn't matter. They're still pushing hard. <laughs> oh no. Bay, they trying to hold out on the Moira. It doesn't happen. John switching from the Bastion onto the Reaper. Is, uh, not much right. still. It's just not working. I almost feel like the Bastion's stronger on the second point here than the first, actually. Uh, I would agree with you, unless you have a really coordinated setup, yeah. So, I mean, so, honestly, if I was Jake, I probably, well, I guess I, I might have just flung myself off the side, but he does get the mech back here, so he's just going to need to hit the button. There it goes. The right, setup's so. into shop. Reaper. Uh, I'm taking the high ground. Ah. Reaper, not the best one to shoot from behind the shield, but, you know, I, I no. you can still get ult charge, I suppose. Oh, there's a man. Okay, so they're the climbing up now. left. They're coming in high left. Vishwin is trying to make it look like they're not there by spamming so the. Diva, the Diva's going to spot main. it out, though. Not that Diva's going to be able to do much. that but... haven't moved. They were waiting for the next uh, lift. <laughs> the turret right. is on the platform, of course. Uh, yeah, go figure. Coming down point. So we got. Oh, the riders are getting dumped from all angles. Best of man. Being healed up. Still being healed. Rip hamster. They're holding this. Comes Two tire picks coming now. Back. Does get, well, it gets one, so not the worst thing in the world. Still, still four and four, but the spawn advantage obviously with uh, the defenders here. It's a good combo, but the diva ult doesn't launch. Unfortunate. Oh, I think. But there is a cap. Diva's back to stop it. Yeah, this is stuck. This is just a brawl now. This is a long fight. Yeah, this is nuts. It's a taxi on the fire now. I mean, there's not a lot of good counters on the other team, so why not? No. Great call. Just the Torb turret, possibly. Ironically, that could yeah, uh, right? be the end of it, but... Down. Ryan playing Minesweeper I mean, there. It's a great fire map here, because you've got so much cover in the high ground. Absolutely. So many pillars, and they're positioned well. This is a good pick. But yeah, other than the... Um... No. The Torb turret? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Uh, there's not a lot of ways that they can counter a fair. They don't really have a, a good hit scan for this, so... No. The hamster kind Neither of team works, played a lot of hit scan tonight. Yeah. We've seen, say, Taxi on a couple with, like, McCree and stuff like that, but no, like, Soldier or something. Although a D.Va chasing you down will get a good no. kill there. Yeah. Molten Core going down. Yeah, no much space for the, uh... Molten, but... The Reaper ult didn't get anything. That was the most Simon Moira ult we're going to get today. Three and down Barrett's now. Trying. Nope. hanging on. He's going to try and stagger this out. But he's going to fade it on. Ultimate strategy is just doing doing loops here. Esteban's <laughs> holding well. Yeah, he's trying. Okay, Reaper's back. Here comes the Diva ult. He's nearly got his ult. Ooh, John gets just three. three to nine. down. Yeah, the taxi on the fire is still hovering. Yeah, Taking out the turret. Back. So she's free to fly. Still trying. Halting the progress. They staggered this beautifully. They got him down to 401, I think, so. They wow. eliminated all the extra time. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it, that was like, what, six minute team fight? That was, I mean, essentially since they got to the ne the second point, yeah, pretty close. I would say a, at least two minutes worth. Yeah. That was a very long team fight. <laughs> yeah. So they come up with four. So yeah, I mean, they capped the first point within 40 seconds or so. So three and a half minute hold on the second point here. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that was just non freaking stop from both teams. Uh, good effort. But in that situation, do you just disengage as the attacking team? Do you sit back, wait for the six of you, and just take it six on six? Or do you try and brawl that out? You know, what will get the clock on your side? I feel like that in most games, and I, I'm going to put most and put an asterisk on it, like, most yeah. games, the better choice is to just, if you're already down two or three, to cut your losses and leave. However, 
what we saw there is an example of one of those, like, I'd say it's probably 75-25. That was one of the 25% times that just keeping the brawl going, you had enough mobility with, like, the Hamster and the Diva and Lucio and everybody that you could actually get back to the point and make it continue that brawl like you hadn't really lost anybody. So, um, But would they have uh, capped it quicker? And that that is the question there. I I don't know. I mean, I feel like... This is it. I feel like if they had backed off, they probably would have lost more time, honestly, by keeping the, the fight going yeah. and eventually getting that good diva bomb and stuff like that. That did work in their favor. But I would say that in most scenarios, I feel like it's a more secure play if you uh, if you wait yeah. for the team. Yeah. Uh, ooh, we but, have yeah, like you say, with the heroes uh, of Hannah. And, and Soldier. So a couple switches now yeah. coming in from Team Peanut. Oh, there's a turret above them. They don't know how they know. No, no, no. It's a text over here. Though. I mean, nobody took that high ground actually. I mean, I've, I've just seen the diva up there now. Oh, Steam box is up there. It's taking it out. Symmetra was alone, but not anymore. Yeah, Sin and Torb again. Again, they're just around pick of them here. Those carcass them. They need to take care of that turret that's there. There we go. Got it diva Boomer on the right hand side has now been spotted, and she's retreating back to her team. They need to push in here, Estefan. Yeah, now they've caught up with him. And playing the soldier as well, on bow. Good to have to hide behind the right shield with. I, I do enjoy that. Ooh, soldier or reaper down. I, I do prefer when I if I play Reinhardt and I'm kind of with the team that there is a soldier, McCree, or somebody that can take yeah. advantage of, of my shield and still kind of counter attack. So I think that is a good yeah, move absolutely. from TP. Oh, here comes a charge now. Countered out. Charge is it's gonna force out some ults. The Rhine does go down, but there is an anti on some of them. Looks like it's not going to end yeah, up mattering. Yeah, down the main healer. That the main turret tank. is still just getting a lot of incidental damage on him. You see it now. So much value. So small. Alright. So now just kind of some regrouping. I mean... If I was peanut right here, I'd be throwing another flank at them. I'd be using the top window. I'd be pushing yeah. around left. I'd... I was just about to comment that. I, I completely agree with you. That if you've got a Reaper, like, he's one of the, the heroes that can take advantage yeah. of that back area. Like, oh, right above them. That's going to kill three. Oof. And Rina gets three yeah, right there. Oof. That's, yeah, big oof indeed. So two minutes on the clock. Still got time to come back at this. And they got all this building. And a lot more already on the other side. I mean, Team so, Peanut right now, it's the just, how can you combo those ults is, is the question I'm asking. Like, you're going to get ults just like everybody else, but yeah. how are you going to combo them, and is it going to be better than Maya's Bay? I mean, the Soldier will get some more longevity if you've got Rally, but the Rally's not there. Earth Shattered Diva Bomb, we'd love to see that pulled out again. So, we kind of have a stall out again from uh, Team Peanut. I think Peanut are doing the right thing. I mean, I assume they're trying to build all. I don't know. They're chatting about what to do next, but I don't know. I... Again, they're all approaching from the same direction. Oh, there's, there we go. Okay, they're going in on okay, the pushing right. Pushing the There's some aggression. And yep, both teams obviously are waiting for that one ult now. Immediate loss of a healer. Here comes the soldier ult. Needs to, it needs to kill this mercy. He needs to kill that mercy. That's behind I've got him. position. Yeah, I've got Diva bomb, but bomb Diva's dead. Coming in, it's just gonna stall that out. Yeah. And the rest are back up to six. No, like, I think right now, uh, Jono needs to be more aggressive with this Reaper. He needs to get behind them. Like, you're not gonna yeah. get as much done. Re like, switch to a McCree or an Ash or something if you want to hang back with the team. Like, if you're gonna play Reaper, you need to take advantage of the mobile health packs known as tanks. Yeah. You need to get behind him and kill him. I think one of the big problems with having a Ryan, if players don't know how to flank around, is that it almost gives you a big rectangle to stand behind, and I think you kind of feel like you should just be behind there. Sure, I can see feels that. safe, but there's brick walls everywhere. You know, oh. there's cover here wherever you like. Oh, they're going in behind. Sorry, and they're looking for another cheeky shatter. Oh, that's that's some good moves. Good old school teams. Lots of bodies just going down from both sides. With three and three. Health looking low though. The healer's still up. Oh, you killed that no. oh, no. Those turrets that's are that's ripping up that diva. Game. Good final Dumb. effort there, though. I mean, we. It uh, was. If they had had more of that, I think they could have taken it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it.
it's kind of like I mean it's where the che we talk about cheese comes and it's the term comes from an old kind of like, engineering thing but, oh this is the triple yeah reptile yep I mean I you heard him go up and then I I saw this coming in look yeah. at that there oh oh yeah. boy that was a good move <laughs> good ult <laughs> But the um, but yeah, the whole cheese comp thing is it's just giving yourself as many layers as possible to try and get through. You know, you're just trying to make the holes so small. So, you know, if you imagine, you know, a big old square of metal, which is where the term comes from. Okay. You got to try and make that metal as strong as possible. And so, in engineering terms, what they do is say, well, there's no way that that piece is going to break, and the piece next to it is going to break at the same time. One of them might break at the same time. So that's where the term comes from, this whole idea of just stacking a layer of protection over on top of each other. Um, so it's a shame because the cheese comp sounds like a really funny term, but actually <laughs> it's, it's absolutely what you do. You just stack your strategies on top of each other and you play, I don't know, you kind of play Tetris. You know, you only get that line if you take out that one piece. You only get that kill if you take out the Mercy, who is then behind the shield. You have to take out the shield to get the Mercy. And it's just, by the time you layer them all on, but yeah, that's what we're seeing. Um, it just takes coordinated aggression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, 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 and I, we've talked about it a lot over the course of these four maps now. Like, if you're playing the Ryan and the Reaper, like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah. go balls to the wall. Like, that's that is how, in my opinion, at least, that is how you get the maximum value out of playing. You know, especially the Reinhardt. You know. It, mm. For those who haven't played with or seen me play, which I'm imagining most of you on the Discord have, I I am a Reinhardt. I would I'd say one trick, but I've kind of branched out. But it's like seeing <laughs> seeing that like seeing those charges. Like I saw what they thought was what they wanted to happen, and I'm like, yes, that is exactly what you need to do. Go in there, follow mm -hmm. up on the Rhein, maybe run the Lucio to keep everybody up to pace with him. But yeah. <sighs> It, they just started doing that a little too late, I think, which is unfortunate. I mean, Team Peanut has a lot. They've done a lot of good things with comboing alts. They've got some of the good mm -hmm. teamwork, but the problem is that's not the, the whole time, or at the very least, May is Bay teamwork is, is like, on point more often. I think sometimes there's just a willingness on, on the May side to just mm -hmm. throw, throw something in, you know, say, right, oh, we've got one pick. Sod it, let's go. You know, let's just push. Um, and see what happens. And I think the natural reaction from Peanut has been just 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 step back and not a lot. Not you know they're not run away. They've just gone. Oh, I'm just going to find a bit of cover. And suddenly that puts them in trouble. Whereas if they also kind of went, yeah, we've taken a pick. They're probably going to push. Whatever, we'll jump on them. Because the, it's the trickiest thing about Overwatch. I think you you lose two people and you basically lost the fight. And you can feel like you're still in it, a four v six, but you're not. It's it's so difficult to call that point. <laughs> Um, and again, you can see from Peanut, you can see the, the Overwatch textbook of the things which should work. If I throw this move into that space, that should get something. Mm -hmm. And you can see him doing all the right things. It's just the pace of it and the, the motion of it, you know. But the alt comboing has been great, and it's just having. Both sides uh, have shown a lot of a lot of restraint, or at the very least, like it's hard to say who actually like fires the first shot when it comes to alts, but both teams yeah. have been good about keeping alt economy until they get to that big team fight moment when three other people are ulting, so it's like F it, just throw my alt in there too. So I, I appreciate the restraint, but I feel like we definitely, honestly, we need to see more ulting. Like, maybe not solo ulting, but I feel like no. maybe at least Team Peanuts being a little too conservative with that. Um, Team Maze Bay, like the Junkrat tire we saw, that was that was alone. That was a, a three-man just out of left field. Like, yeah. that was perfect example of solo ulting, and Junkrat's good for that because he can get ult charge really, really quick. Same thing with Reinhardt. Yes. Like, Reinhardt, you know, getting in the middle of a fight, you're already at halfway to ult. But... Yeah, it's yeah. we'll see what happens in, in this last game. This is the last one for realsies this time. Um... <laughs> Oh, do, do I see some icon switching? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, respect. I'm, I'm going to give Team Peanut that, another... Yeah. I'll give Team Peanut 100 <laughs> points for everybody that switches over the dragons. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, oh, there they all are. Oh, do we get... Come on, Bailey. I believe in you. you got to switch. You absolutely have to. I'm not giving the team any bonus points unless unless they get the full stack of six. Come on. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm, I'm glad that they're having fun with it, though, because at the end of the day, that's yeah, what this is. You know, like, both teams, yeah. there it is! Both teams just, just kind of goofing off and having fun, especially now in, yeah. in the overtime games here. Like, it's it's just for fun. Practice with, you know, a team of six people that, in in a fairly casual environment, and, and that's what I do love about our scrims, is that you can, you get the sense yeah. of kind of practicing with a whole team, even if you don't play with them very often, but you get to practice with a team in a team environment. Oh, come on, Sit McFluff, get out of here. <laughs> I'm docking 100 points off of people. Team Maya's Bay for every dragon that they post, because that's just mean. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, okay. Kokomin's going up in All-Star event. Did that Atlantic going... win? Pacific oh, win? Oh, that's, that's negative 200 there. I, I don't recall, honestly. I, <laughs> I wasn't paying super close attention when the event came through. Um, so that's that's 600 points for Team Peanut and negative 200 for, for Team Maya's Bay right now. And uh, I'm going to do them that favor of not letting them get any more negative points and just starting it up. Oh, no, there's a third. Okay, negative 300. It's a shame right. it's in the name points stakes. Peanut away ahead. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> if mean, uh, if the points mattered at all, then they would be miles ahead of everybody else. We but, should play whose lines anyway afterwards. I mean, that is that is essentially the point, how much the points are worth anything, so... <laughs> Alright, yeah, hopefully with the uh, with the carefree change of the icons means that, again, I'm... At this point, I don't really necessarily yeah. want to see a well-composed team comp. I want to see something silly, like, <laughs> I want to see more Symmetra Torb or... Oh, man, I'm trying Six to times. think about... Like or six tanks, six six uh, DPS meme dream team or six healers, like goofy strats like that. I I want to see more silliness yeah. is, is what I'm looking for here. I mean I'm astonished actually, given that two UK teams that we haven't seen goats yet, because yeah. we all know that goats absolutely destroyed the US in the um the World Cup. So, I, would, I really wish that I'm NA surprised. didn't suck at esports. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised for the first UK scrim we haven't represented goats, but. Oh, now big changes immediately from both teams. Yeah. I don't know if there was a call out somewhere, Wait but up. there's a, a Widowmaker on each team now. Um, in addition, of course, there well there was a May. Now the May is a Symmetra. Um, three healers, three DPS, four healers. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 oh there's the, there's the six healers. Yes. <laughs> All right, I know I know some of them are watching the stream right now, so that's perfect. All right, you know what? Wonderful. I, I think I'm going to have to give like an extra bonus 500 Beautiful. points to, to Team Peanut for the 6 fucking okay, team. Now let me oh stay grouped here. This Come can on. genuinely work. They oh need no! To stay together. That was a pretty good pickoff. Wow, uh, Deadly Silence is actually just going to town right now as the Widowmaker. Yeah. But the heal <laughs> Team Healer... Team Healy Nuts okay, is going down now. here. Oof. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I was going to say, I am hoping for on. 6 tanks in the next one, yeah. <laughs> What we're getting now. We're still no. Okay, we got a tank from the taxi. Tracer coming out for steam box. Oh, still Lord, yeah. no, Okay, okay. okay so we're we're, we're out. making we a couple DPS. of big switches. We're. I I six appreciate. Uh, there's yes. a six DPS <laughs> meme dream team. All right. Uh, I ain't even mad. Well done. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's oh brilliant. Lord. Yeah. They're they're just goofing right now. And I, again, I'm glad that people are just kind of having fun with this. And hey, hopefully I'm, uh, people are people are able to get Don't practice now. Hopefully. Oh, oh look at that! Good, good, good oh, counter snipe on the widow. On the widow. Ooh, Jono is actually set three. Oh, Woo! Jono, where was this <laughs> earlier, man? That's fantastic. They need to get to point. All right, now okay, so now they're losing a couple, but all right, now it's even again. And but man, Jono with a couple oh, of shots there, that, that was great. Yeah. All right, Esteban and Jono, they're trying, they're coming. I think they might get it here. There we go, we got the fight on point. I'm I'm gonna overlook the diva there because I really want this to work. All Dang right. It. Fair enough. They got it. Oh, the rip. Okay. Stack it as well. <laughs> oh, well, now we're hurts. gonna have another widow snipe off that probably. Hurts. Ooh, and Jono wins the widow Lucia's off again. On his own. Baron needs to get nice. Taxi is gonna oh, stall this out. Rip. Good. They need to push together. <laughs> yeah. I know they're playing here, but they're genuinely getting stuff done. Yeah. Oh, oh that feels bad. Alright, so of a there. couple trades here. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh no, he got caught on that one. I hate those little legends, yeah. man. They get caught on those all the time. 
Ooh, good pick. Okay, Tracer got a good bomb there. No, Jono finally bomb. got uh, murked. <laughs> Steam, or, um, Deadly Silence got revenge. Up. <laughs> oh man, this team. is this is just a bun a good widow off now. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're in the 80s now, so. Okay, I've sat on the widow's shoulder. The Ryan's peeping. No shot. Tracer's looking for more. Okay, oh, there, there's a Reinhardt no, now. Oh, Reinhardt is uh, in trouble. He's Here pretty we go. dead. Oh, six tanks? I think they're trying to go. Oh no, Tracer. they switched to five oh, healers and one sniper over on uh, <laughs> over on Team Maze Bay. <laughs> they're trying to slowly switch to the six tanks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. This is a good time. Sense of humor, well and alive oh, in the God. UK. There we go. Because <laughs> you see, this this go. is the quality content we're looking for right now. <laughs> Just the meme teams. <laughs> okay. There we go. I love this one. I think this is one of the best control points. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing goats uh, if if either team wants yeah. to try that out. Um, apparently, that needs to be represented, but. I also really want to keep these meme teams going because they make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so what right, we got? Looks... We got we got six tanks from Peanut. And we got six healers for. Uh, Maze Bay is on the uh, the uh, six May. healers, and then we've got uh, uh, four and two. So uh, tankier goats right now from uh, from team. Oh yeah, yeah. Blah, team oh, Peanut works. Yeah. So right. Widow Lucio, four tanks on one of each. The four tanks rolling together. Oh no! Oh, oh, that was oh. nearly a three-man boot. That was close, but they have a lot of recovery skills. Break. Well, I mean, getting the stuff done, but... so aggressive in a six Rip. healer. <laughs> this is so yeah, they're into retreat. They yep. got it. So they're gonna hold at this choke here, which is, I think is the right thing to do. But at the same time, I feel like T Peanut could take advantage of that because it's a bunch of squishy healers. Like if they get on them yeah. and they put the aggression down, they can definitely yeah. do it. It's interesting. How, just going to the multi tank option, they are pushing like together. They're genuinely taking space, and it's multi tank can beat six healers. I think like if they're coordinated and they do need to kill that yeah. bad guy, that uh, Brigade yeah, needs gotta... to go down. You just got to get the job done quicker than this, and that's the problem. The tanks don't carry the DPS to finish fights quickly. Um, yeah, that is how you beat the six healer comp. So, all right, say so taxi's getting work done. Does die to the to the brigade brigade top. All right, down. I, yeah, they need to push this right now. Again, they need to push. Yeah, the Winston needs to get behind them. They're all fighting the same corridor now. They're just kind of pick going for picks right now. Okay, good kill. No res. All right, there we go. They yeah, have all six now, here. so this is the moment. Oh, yeah. nope, good hook. Need to push right there back go. though. Get him! Great. There wow. it is. They got yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sixty-three playing. Oh, uh, there's the Harambe emoting. Well done, well done. <laughs> Points are flooding in, and they are pushed out to the choke. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, this is what Peanut go. needs to do. This is how they're gonna win this, is this exact thing this right here. Well, that Harambe is, is definitely going, he's going deep, but he's got this Ari to protect him. Oh, but so oh he's there we go, there's the ult. They have to make a decision now. So the diva has gone he's running. Dead. No, he's dead. Say Taxi immediately killed him. This that is was one a... of my pet hates though, look. Oh, that's a kill, but that's gonna one. die. anti nade really ah. hurts this comp. They've given this position up now. More of pet hates on this map. They'll be holding that choke, and one person gets behind, and they send three or four of the team back to get them. Well, especially with say Taxi yeah. just being like going nuts yeah. and immediately killing that Lucio, like not necessary. But they're still holding it. Yeah, they're, they are. are I mean, they're, they're after they're over fifty percent. I think this is the most percentage that they've got so far across the. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, Lucio. Oh, I took a deep breath for you. Get up there. Oh, all right, there's three of them in there, but they don't have anybody Great to take advantage. This don't. Steambox is getting stuff oh, out of this area. Oh, here I'm it comes. Surprised. Here comes the boosted battle oh. mercy going in. <laughs> Get him. <up. laughs> oh, 
Lucio's Lord. dodging. Lucio's keeping this alive on his own. Yeah, Bailey's trying. Come on, Bailey. Keep jumping, man. Still I touch, believe. Touch. I on, believe. Come on, All right, this is. How are you still alive? Still <laughs> what the hell? Hop, 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 hop. Oh my Come god. On. Bailey, Get you're back. a god. That was amazing. <laughs> oh no. All right, I think they're getting it here. Like, they are. They're coming they're back. They're holding it. 7%. Now they have to clear this. It's going to be the challenge now. Can they clear this point? If they can, they win, though. That's the thing. Like, it's a Absolutely. 99 overtime. This is it now. Oh, Moira got booped. Moira got Moira booped. Good boop. I need to get that right. Oh, don't emote now! Jono, come oh, on, man! <laughs> Jono! Alright, both Lucio's ults. Here comes the Zenyatta ult. This is so silly. Good <laughs> lord. Say taxi switched off the Widow and onto an Ana, which, I mean, same but different. All right, we're getting trades. Mercy's not willing to fly off. Oh, Lucia, Come on, Eldritch, guys! Take care of Eldritch. Oh no, oh, the Mercy happens. No. All right, I think that might be the end of it. Oh. That was close. Yep. They need to regroup here because be I'm it. not sure they're gonna win this now. Ba no, Bailey's back. Bailey's got this. Come on, Bailey, get to a wall. Get to a wall. Climb now. Oh <laughs> man. Oh no! no. They can That's definitely so get back once. Definitely. Oh yeah! But they need to be careful. Oh, Reaper's out of position. Wither. There's a tracer now. They have a tracer. Tracer. Steam bullets on the tracer. Mhm. Mm yeah, seem they seem to do pretty well when I saw them on it earlier. All right, so steam bullets around the back now. Need to coordinate right. this move. Jano switched to a widow. Say on taxis on Anna. So now they have Lucio as their only 12. healer, so they only have one shot here. They cannot take an extended fight because the healers will survive them. One pick for two. Okay, the down, down one. Battle down Mercy's three. flying. Battle Mercy's taking shots. No, no, they're three, two up. They need to get to it. They need to get to it. They're being body blocked. Oh, no. Oh, Reaper. Maybe. <laughs> Man. Oh, that I was, was good. I that third map. You know what? Yeah, me too. Me too. That was just great, great from both teams. I, yeah, that I know that moment was just wild when Jono went yeah. off here. I'm, oh. I'm glad I get to see this. Ooh, the first pick's nice. The oh, I thought it was gonna be Lucio. Oof, and then I think That's they get third. Well. Look at that. Oh. Good control. I like the peeping door. There we go. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'd <laughs> call that a C9 yeah. so much as uh, that was. They got body blocked way in the back there. But either way, yeah. all right. And That's with that one, saying. that was our fifth map. Um, yeah. That is going to be uh, a 3-0 sweep with some extras um, for Team May is Bay. And uh, that was a lot of fun there. I, I appreciate that that the teams were willing to kind of have some fun with that last map. That doubt. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, props to both teams for sticking in there and uh, and showing us something different, especially right, on that map in Nepal. It's one of my favorites. Out of solidarity, um, I will also be changing my icon in a moment here. Um, <laughs> pay respect to our uh, our fallen friends there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all some right, rebellion going on in Maze Bay, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, for real this time, that is going to be the end. Um, that was a great set of games from both teams, uh, and yeah, I hopefully we'll be able to do this a little bit more often uh, where we get some EU scrims uh, a lot more regularly yeah. now that we know we have uh, the participation for it. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll talk about it. I think it can happen. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get something sorted out um, and keep growing the numbers. So if you have watched this and enjoyed it, feel free. Obviously, feel free to jump in to Bronze Taco Lounge. And it, it is an 18 yourself. plus community. As as a warning, uh, there is a vetting process yeah. where where we we do have to certify that you are a uh, legal adult with our high tech certification technologies of talking to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a non-toxic community. We try and do scrims like this on a weekly basis, uh, potentially even more than that now that we, uh, we're we going to be trying to run um, EU scrims now. I, I would like to get some of those in the rotation a lot more often. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. feel free to uh, to join us. There is a, a link in the Twitch chat as well as on the Twitch page to join the Bronze Tacos Lounge. And, yeah, I hope everybody had some fun. Uh, Tornado, thank you for joining me this week. Thank you very much. All right, and uh, we'll see everybody next time.